take that cold blood, you take cold hearted. But he's far from cold hearted. He wants to be there. Ah. <laughs> be nice. I've never seen a lizard wanting any sort of human interaction before. And I'm like, well, are you buying my body heat or what? And like, he just let this heat source just to sit on my lap. And I'm like, this is so cool. He started doing these chop things with his cheeks, which is like an excitement thing. Ever since then, he just doesn't leave me alone. What are you doing? He would want to be held. He would claw at my leg for me to hold him. He doesn't really ask, like, just do whatever he wants. Your breath stinks. That is sweetie. But I wasn't expecting it to paint him like a cat or a dog. I wasn't expecting something as amazing as him. He was in pretty rough shape. It looked like his diet wasn't right because he was so thin. I'm like, oh, this poor guy, he, he needs a home. Can you eat your veggies? At first, he was very unsure. I sat by his enclosure every day. I didn't pick him up, I didn't touch him until like the next week. He loves shoes. Shoes are his favorite things that he's not allowed to have because I have gone through at least 10 pairs of shoes with him. He actually took this off my foot. He knows certain commands. I can say, come here, Winston, he'll come. He knows what outside means. Come outside, look. He'll just go for a walk just like a dog. He also likes blankets. He's trying to color off. He won't burrow in his dirt. He'll burrow in the blanket. If you ever feel alone, at least you have Winston. That's how I feel, you know? Just knowing that a reptile, something that shouldn't show you any type of affection at all, knows it's just weird in a good way. My life wasn't really going anywhere. I was just a magic designer with no ambition, no goals in life, and I wanted to do something with animals, and I never got to do it. You know, I never followed my dream. I thought that I was not smart enough to do that. I didn't have the motivation to push me towards that direction. But when I got Winston and I noticed how amazing he was, I wanted to push myself to be better. I never even thought of being a reptile educator, never. And now I go to these expos and we usually get a few thousand people that show up. I was actually one of those people that are like, oh, lizards, they don't show affection. Winston's smart. I mean, he, he definitely shows a bond. I think it was definitely meant to be. I can't imagine my life without him. <laughs>